Thank you for listening to this Crew Network production. You can now listen to all the Crew Network podcasts on the crewnetwork.net. Live from the Crew Studios in Highland, California. Check one, two, testing, testing. It's time for the Bucks Effect with your host, Chuck Bucks. No one can do it like I could do it. Don't even try it. You look stupid. Do not pursue it. It's me, Mr. Chuck Bucks. Damn, you should be a poet or something. <laughs> That's a little Eminem line. What? He I'm here be a poet or something. With uh, Mr. Dick, motherfucking sassy. Hey. From the Sassy Clan. Also, the Dick Power Show. Mr. Dick Power. Did I say, did I say sassy? That's the old no, shit. No, that's the old guy. I killed him. He killed him. I killed him. And now it's me, Darth Vader. Dick Power. In the background. I killed Anakin. Is uh, Godzilla. Oh, King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I thought it was Native Whiskey. No, no. We call him King Kong. On we the call him, and this one is King Kong. He's a bad motherfucker. Native Whiskey. King is Kong is in the background. Oh. And uh, we got uh, wearing the uh, four-leaf clover from uh, a trash can near you. We got uh, Boo. DK Murphy. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> and joining us today... Uh, the one, the only, you know her from the episode, uh, that we did with, uh, the booze and the dudes and Eddie's first date, uh, give it up for moon. Hey. What's up? First and only date. R- first and, and only and date. Probably one of the funniest episodes we've ever done. <laughs> it is very funny, actually. It, it, we do watch it, uh, <laughs> yeah. every day. Whenever every we're single sad. day. Which is every day. <laughs> when, when, when we feel bad every about day. ourselves, we're like, let's yeah. watch the episode where Eddie goes on a date. Wait, we're, good, we're good people, right? Yeah. I, I kick back that, uh, that old six-shooter <laughs> with one hollow point in there watching that video. <laughs> that shit was so funny, dude. That this was like, video. That was like the funniest episode ever. It, it's one, one of the funniest one. episodes. I'm it, glad to be that for you guys it, to if help. I, if I may <laughs> move, now that like so much time has passed, mm-hmm. how do you uh, look back on that day? Uh, I mean, what's supposed to change? I still feel just as awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like, it was like, he was, I don't know if he, like, we kind of really dragged him into it. Like, I feel like we forced him to just to go out of the house of and not play video games. Thing is, I think if we hadn't done it that same week, he would have climbed a university clock tower. <laughs> so I also think I think we may have prevented a mass shooting or a mass bomb. No, no, not that bad. Hey, but here's the thing: it's like, it's like our, our matchmaking is off because the thing is we had another. Because we're a group we, of swinging dicks, we, we need more female we, input. We had another. We had another date that we had um, Emily with the Downs and uh, and uh, um, Draven, and it was an it was an introvert introvert, and then this time we had an introvert you know with Moon, which is extrovert. Yeah, you know it's like. What the fuck? We sh- we should have had an extrovert with one of the introverts. Yeah. I just feel I don't feel too bad about it because it was just as miserable for him as it was for me. Ooh. Yeah. So that's cool. what. If, what if we had Moon go on a date with Emily? And maybe is Emily into women? Yeah. yeah I think so. I mean, DK yeah, would bi. know the most. She's bi. Oh, there we go. You're making that that's up. Okay. You're making that up. It's like your fantasy. You're making that up. <laughs> Yes, it's been my fantasy to watch Moon and Emily with the Downs fuck. We should have yeah, I believe that. Emily I with the Downs. Why do you call her Emily with the Downs? Um, You want to answer that one? <laughs> Does she have Down syndrome? Uh, she looks like she might oh have Down syndrome. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's a sweet girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> well, she, I, said, I, I don't know fuck. if she okay. looks like All it, right. but she acts like it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you I don't picture. know. It's very hard to just explain, but she'll like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's Emily with the Downs. <laughs> Um, you know, no, yeah, we, she, we, we're all gonna fucking burn. Oh yeah, God. yeah, we're all gonna burn. That's it true. Out. That's true. It's it's not necessarily that she looks like she has Down syndrome. She just has this look on her face where it's like, for one, like she this. was homeschooled, so she has no social um, experience. Do y'all got a, a shitty nickname for me? No, I'm just uh, moon. Your moon. <laughs> you're 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 moon. You're you're moon. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm nervous now no, when I leave. Y'all no, no, no. We do the nicknames to protect. Um, some shit. Your identity. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. We usually record this show at video, but it's been so hot. I just, you know, I haven't done the videos. But yeah, no, she's Would got you? a Would great you? body. N- not my type. Okay, never mind. She's got a great body. She's willing to do anything. She's a bit on the, on the well, she's a bit on the slutty side, but only because she has she's definitely no slutty. experience. 
Is she so, is she quiet and shy and introverted? Sometimes, yeah. Like all the time. I ain't about that. Okay, exactly. So yeah, that's exactly me, what she is. Let me let me give you an example. She's like a strong personality. I need somebody to like. Okay, let me let me let me let me give you an example. There have been days where she'll like ask me to come over and just fuck. Okay. And it's hot. Oh wait, so she's been with you. Oh yes. god. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my heart. heart. My heart. We're gonna add the sound effects. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but she also was also what? no. I, I want to tell her the story because I think she'll at least laugh. Mm-hmm. She was part of the worst breakfast I've ever fucking had. Why? <laughs> so one day she asked me to come over and, hey, let's hook up. And I'm like, what day? Saturday. Okay, that's my day off. What time? 8 a.m. Fuck it right in the pussy. Okay. <laughs> wow. So I go over there. And first off, I slip and hurt my neck. So now I'm in pain. Oh, man. But yeah, I know. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I get there and she makes me this breakfast. It's a vegan breakfast. Surprise, motherfucker. So, <laughs> I eat, All rise, motherfucker. <laughs> hard eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Rude eyes, motherfucker. Large fries, motherfucker. <laughs> she makes me vegan sausage, tur- <coughs> turnips, and broccoli. <laughs> the only thing I could eat was <laughs> the broccoli. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then it's like, um, hey, I don't want to... F- uh, have sex anymore I'm like okay Let's just go ahead And talk for a little bit And then she's just there Quiet for like A good five minutes And then I just go Would you like me To just leave And she's like yeah <laughs> 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 and, and I was pissed off Not because I didn't get laid But because she asked me To wake up at 7am In my fucking day off and for you, nothing. You didn't eat a breakfast. Yeah, that's why. You got some breakfast. You got some breakfast. Oh no! I fucking pulled the the. Hey, happy! You don't want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the kindergarten thing where I was like hiding the pieces of bro- broccoli, feeding it to the dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were upset because you wanted bacon with a side of fertilized eggs, huh? That's what you wanted. Mm-hmm. I would have liked bacon. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Pussy does not run my life. That would have been nice, but I would <laughs> love bacon. You're going to wake me up at 7 o'clock? She said eggs. She said eggs, you you. (laughs) creep. If she's making scrambled eggs, sure. But she said fertilized (laughs) eggs, which meant she thought I was talking about sex. Mm. What? You weren't? (laughs) What the fuck is that? What? (laughs) What? It's your sex life. So uh, that 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 that's a no to the date? What date? What the fuck are we talking about? To, To Emily with the downs? Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. No thanks. <laughs> she said no thank you. Beep boop ba boop. Yeah. All right. Hey, Emily, it's a no go. <laughs> That's sad poor thing. Anyways, guys, uh so this past weekend I went to a thing called VidCon. And uh my son, he's thirteen. He's he thirteen. Loves now. YouTube. He's almost fourteen, you dick. Finally. Pay attention. Oh wait, was he there with us? Take um... this ride with me. <laughs> oh, <are> you... <laughs> Are you so insured? basically, basically, what happens is, he said, "Dad, we gotta go to this VidCon. It's on my bucket list." I said, "What? What the fuck is VidCon?" He's like, "It's where all the YouTubers go, Dad. I want to meet some YouTubers." And I said, "No problem. All right." So I buy the tickets, and I'm going out to LA to go see my brother Chris because he has an eight-hour layover because he's going to North Carolina. He was coming back from Hawaii. So I go. I was I was going there in the morning, and we get to this thing called VidCon. And I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but, but it's basically a convention for YouTubers. Yeah, uh, Selena and Cassandra were there. I don't know who they are, but I guess they were there, right? Okay. So. Are they over 18? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Selena and Cassandra are fucking eight-year-old gir- twin girls no, that no. sing bedtime stories. No, 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 Selena. YouTube sensations. Yeah, they're YouTube sensations. <laughs> S- Selena, Go loves them. Selena is that Canadian chick who does sleepwalking videos, and Cassandra is that... I don't know, some blonde chick who does whatever. Anyways, we'll go there if you guys want. It's all right. Anyways, long story short, we go there, and there's some shit going on. But the the thing is, the bottom line is, is the claim of fame is Mr. Beast. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Mr. Beast. Yes. He's like the biggest thing on YouTube. Okay, hundred over a hundred million subscribers on on his channels. He's got. Uh, he he's makes, like the face of YouTube. He makes cheeseburgers. 
He make a cheeseburgers. He does actually have a cheeseburger business throughout the country. He he has chocolate oh, wait, bars. Is he that guy that has the T-shirt that your son has, and you were like kind of confused about it? No, no, no. That's that's a different one. Not cream, not the cream pie. Or cream pies. That's Danny Duncan. This guy's Mr. Beast. This guy's PG okay. as fuck, and he gives away all his money. Long story short, so he has this thing right where he has like a big gumball machine. And you line up to go in the gumball machine. You put a quarter in, whatever, and you get free Mr. Beast gear. And I think one of them was like a, a, a Nintendo Switch that you could win in, as a prize. But you would win something. You wouldn't like a hat or whatever. So we go up. We line over there. We, we get up in line. And there's this group of people that get in line because um, they cut off the line right before we cross the street. They're like, no more people. You have to wait in another line. We're like, fuck, dude. So... This group of people says, I'm from whatever company. And they said, oh, okay, you're through. So I said, Brandon, just play cool, hide your purple pass, and let's, oh, let's no. go through the thing. So we sneak through security, right? We sneak through security, and we're at a, a, another point of security. And they're like, okay, cool. And then the guy in the front's like, hey, I'm fucking whatever. I'm so-and-so from this company. No problem. Cool. Go through, go through. Long story short, we've passed two more levels of security. We finally get to this tent where Mr. Beast is at. We're like, holy fuck. We're going to meet Mr. Beast, Dad. We're going to meet Mr. Beast. <laughs> I said, dude, play it cool. We're going to meet Mr. Beast, right? So he's pumped. And we see the little, there's this little, this little kid. I think his name is Travis, whatever. I call him the weasel because he looks like a little fucking weasel. I don't know anybody's name really i just know mr i knew who mr beast is because richard brandon watches the videos yeah. so i was like damn and so the security goes hey you guys got a yellow wristband and i'm like fuck and brand they hit up brandon first because i would have bullshitted him i would have threw a scene so brandon got to see him where they all pointed their like attention to me i would have ran away yeah. i don't give a fuck because I, I don't care if i get kicked out so he That's goes yeah. brandon goes no i don't have a, I don't have a wristband <laughs> and i was like fuck and then they hit me up. He's like, do you have a wristband, sir? I'm like, no. I grab my camera. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. And this lady's like, she's like, hey, sir, he didn't get out of here, right? So she grabs me. So long story short, he almost meets Mr. Beast. He's fucking jazz as fuck. And I was like, sorry, dude. I mean, you know, we almost fucking met Mr. Beast. He's like, he's like, dad, I've seen him. And we've seen his friend. I'm good. We, we, we reached the pinnacle. We don't want to fucking be here anymore. I was like. Awesome. <laughs> so let's let's go. So that was my VidCon story. Anyways. Damn. Wow, your son's a bucket list is really, really low. <laughs> bucket list. <laughs> well, a 13-year-old bucket list. I mean, who was our hero as a 13? Wh like Triple wait, H? Wait, what's your bucket Triple list H, right you now? You know, like Vince McMahon. My bucket list? Right so now. You got to imagine, dude. No, you got to think. Hold on. When we're 13 years old, we love wrestling, correct? So that's like us when I was 13, somehow I was getting backstage. more about Power Rangers. So meeting the Power Rangers. Yeah. So it was something like that. I'm yeah. jealous. I've always wanted to go to VidCon, and that's I feel like young because <laughs> you guys are like, "What's that?" And I'm like, "Oh my god, I want to go so bad." Yeah. I have always wanted to go to VidCon, but back when there was YouTubers that I used James. to watch, I don't watch them now. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of old school, I guess, people there. I didn't recognize. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube, so I didn't recognize a lot of people. But Brandon was recognizing people left and right, like when he was a kid. <laughs> there was like people there, and he was running into people left and right. And I was like, oh, "That's cool." He loved yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm being an asshole, but no, if your son had a good time, he had a good time, the end. That's like saying, like, you're about to meet the Power Rangers, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, come on, like, Have we don't give our left nut to meet the Power Rangers back in the days. Have you seen that video of Jason uh, David Franks beat, uh, punching out a guy? <laughs> the hand no. Is there. Oh, it's fucking great. Is it recent? Yeah, about a year. Oh, okay. Um, he was at, well, I think it was, a, it was a work. He was at a wrestling show, and the heel was like, oh. fuck you, Power Ranger. But he just, he did not hold back. He fucking... Well, the guy probably told him, hey, listen, don't hold back. Just throw a punch at me. Yeah. It was obviously fixed. It's but, a wrestling but, but, show. But still, that's kind of cool. In, in, in a small way. Uh, we looking for King Kong? <laughs> He's looking for... Oh, I was saying the freezer. I put the hams in there for him. It's hams. You got the hams? I got you a hams. Hams beer. Hams. Yeah, it should be in there. Because water There's is a not, box in the not freezer. as good. <laughs> <laughs> Hams, because he's Irish. But um, speaking about wrestling, let's, let's stay on wrestling. Yeah. I got a few couple stories for you guys. <laughs> do it, man. Do it. So obviously you heard of Vince McMahon. Uh, the affair is constantly going on. He stepped down to become, uh, I guess, 
Stephanie McMahon is a new um, well, so, chairman so, of the WWE. Well, so here's the thing, though, is that, yeah, he stepped down from being CEO, but he still has creative control. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's Whatever weird. the fucking thing. It, it, obviously, I guess uh, there's another girl that came forward basically saying that um, he was fucking around with a bunch of other wrestlers, too. And I, I said this shit was going to happen a long time ago. If you watch Dark Side of the Ring, if you know anything about the, the wrestling business, is that women get fucked with oh, yeah. in the wrestling business. They're constantly sexually harassed because you got a bunch of fucking uh, would-be fucking, you know, some of them are alphas, but some of them are just jack-offs. Well, see, not I know. shocking. Yeah, it's not shocking at all. It's like going into the locker room of any locker room with boys. Mm. If you're the only yeah. girl in there, you kidding me? Mm. You, it's gonna fucking oh, harassing's oh, gonna ooh. happen. Okay, I got, I got two things to say about that. Okay, one, <laughs> I'd always heard this rumor back in uh, the in uh, 2004 that WWE only kept women wrestlers around for two reasons. One, if they made money for the company, okay, they kept them around. Trish Stratus, Lita. But they kept other women around to keep the boys from fucking around on the road. Now, check this out. Uh, I know this uh, wrestler, I'm not going to say her real name, but uh, she lives out in San Diego, and I met her for the first time when she was 18 years old. This is like six years ago. And me and my partner, Ricky, are going over a tag match with the tag champions. And uh, the guy that her trainer brings him in, this is so-and-so. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Now, as soon as she leaves the four of us, her trainer comes right back and goes, <laughs> Now, me, I'm already sure a... Sure that wasn't you, Joe? I'm very <laughs> sure it wasn't me. Sounds like a Joe laugh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pussy hound. I was just kind of like, hey, dude, I'm, I'm wanting to wrestle. But the two other guys on the other side, one of which worked for WWE recently... Goes, bro, why you gotta put blood in the shark tank? And the other guy, bro, why you gotta put meat in the lion's den? And I'm like, are you guys fucking virg- virgins? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, you've got a very pretty girl here, and you're like, oh my god, I wanna fuck her. I'm just like, you bro, guys don't fucking you, you know. guys have a podcast called STD. I know, she was just on it. <laughs> I know. I have a podcast called Dick's Power Hour. Okay. I'm gonna argue that our shit ain't really that mature. <laughs> Uh, anyways, anyways, that's what's going to happen. It, 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 did you hear the allegation that actually supposedly happened? So what happened was this girl that he paid off $3 million, or another girl that came forward, says that back in the days there was this, this girl referee that they hired. Okay? Yeah, yeah. He basically got her into the limousine, um, forced her head to his dick, pulled out his dick, said, hey, hey, and then she tried to exit the limousine, Whoa. pinned her down, and fucked it and raped her. Whoa, I didn't hear that. That's the new allegation. Yes. So but, there's a her she's married to a wrestler now or whoever or to a guy that used to wrestle. And that guy said, "Yeah, dude, that story absolutely happened and still giving her fucking nightmares. No one listened to her at the time because if she obviously she said something something to the nature but basically she eventually got fired. But long story short, she didn't come forward with the story or she tried to try to come forward with the story and it was completely shut down. So that's what happened. I had just heard about him and Linda McMahon no longer really living together and shit. No. Yeah, this is what I mean, this though. This is the like, second story to come out. I've said shit like this in other podcasts where I'm like, dude, what do you guys think? And everyone's like, oh, I know you're full of shit. I'm like, dude, when you got so much money and you run out of play things and cars and pizzas and beers to try, what do you think is the next fucking thing for these sick fucks? It's, um, They're going to traffic people. They're going to force people. They're going to do things that people... But they don't want because they don't see them as, as people or with feelings. Nothing's no, exciting or new to them anymore. Yeah. They got to find something They're, else that hits that. Especially exactly. when you're They're Vince McMahon. Psychos. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, when you're a billionaire, um, I, I, I take it to the uh, that Bobcat Goldthwait joke where it's like the first kid that uh, accused Michael Jackson of molesting him. I'm going to take that guy to court because he stole my son's childhood. What about $20 million? You know he's got a brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... But also, too, the, the original story why he stepped down is because, remember, I think it was, it was like, not Eva Marie. It might have been Eva Marie. It was the, it was the Mexican chick. Awesome. It was basically. Oh, yeah. No, the one that's still there, right? She's not there anymore. She actually, she was on the Divas show. She really didn't do oh. much. I think, not Eva Marie, but it was like, Gar- 
I thought Anyways, you meant that chick with Andrade. She was a not, Latina chick is Gar- supposedly the one. Was gargantuan. She was on the, she was on the Divas. Mm-hmm. And what happened was supposedly <laughs> she basically had sex with Vince and then he also sent her to John Laronitis and he boned her too. No, and yeah, they, that was Eva Marie. That was. And they said, "Hey, listen, we're going to pay you 3 million dollars to keep your mouth shut." And Which she is, didn't. <laughs> she obviously no she did. She did it t- up till recent. It got out. It got leaked. Now the whole referee thing in 1986, that referee, that girl, he raped her in a fucking limousine. He did a bunch of shit. Dude had road rage. And that, and, and that was 86. That was that in 86. 86? That was the other, the first incident that really happened, but the so one think, that he stepped down what was What do you guys think the sick fuck has been up to since? Is anybody really shocked that another person in power is taking advantage no. of people below no. them? Absolutely not. Or no, this shit went on a long them? time. Mm-hmm. This shit went on a long time. Uh, yeah, but I mean, n- now that it's coming out, people are going <laughs> to act like they didn't love their Vince McMahon God. All, all of a sudden, years. all of a sudden, all this shit's starting to surface because of Dark Side of the Moon. Ring. Terry Reynolds, fucking Gold Dust, his wife, yeah. or Dark Side of the Ring, Dark Side of the Moon, Dark Side of the Ring. That's the Pink Floyd. Terry Re- <laughs> Terry Reynolds, fucking you know whatever. Was uh, she starts saying, "Hey, so and so, fucking pull down his pants." And wiggled his dick. Brock Lesnar. Wiggle, wiggle, no, wiggle, no, wiggle, no, wiggle, wiggle. No, 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 it was Flair, Flair. No, Flair was, yeah, was no. in the fuck. Flair was in the plane. Yeah, okay. And it was Brock was a, Lesnar yep. that did it. Because Dustin Re- Reynolds would have fucked up Flair. Reynolds is not going to fuck up Brock Lesnar. No, he's not, yeah. So he said, just don't sell it, don't sell it. That was the key. Tons of shit happened to her. That's what, he's, that's what she was hinting. Don't sell it. That was her thing. Okay, so we have a lady on the panel today. Um, Moon, when it comes to sexual harassment, what are some of the words you would say that come to mind when it comes to that kind of thing? Some of the words? Like, how does it make you feel when... He doesn't know what he's asking. (laughs) I'm like, uh, disgusted. When when guys use their uh, position of power... Oh, I mean, it's not a shock to me. I mean, I'm a girl and I've been, you know, under male bosses and things like that. It doesn't, it doesn't shock me one bit. I'm just like, oh, another one? Okay. But, I mean, it, that's a sad, I feel like that's such a sad reality that a lot of, that us women live is like, oh, another one, okay, whatever. Like, it's just so normalized now. It's just so like, right. oh, that happens all the time, so we're just like, whatever about it. Have you ever had a uh, work position or school position where you did feel comfortable around a male, you know, teacher or boss that you felt like oh this guy is not going to try and whip his dick out yeah i've had like i had a lot of cool male teachers that were that made me feel comfortable that were nice but i also had the shitty ones who would flirt with me as a 14 year old mm. yeah. jeff <laughs> <laughs> is that jeff was his name v- jeff vagina dryer yeah jeff vagina dryer was his last name vagina dryer <laughs> what the i hell? think it was oh yeah i think so <laughs> anyways oh. another creep i want to tell you guys Another wrestling story. Another creep. Go for it. You guys remember, and you guys remember, you might remember him. I'm sure you do, because we wrestled with him before. Joey Ryan. Oh, yeah. yeah sure oh, do. Yeah. So, Joey Ryan creep. got busted for creeping on some girls. I don't know the full story, but I yeah. think it had to do with... It was sexual people, harassment. Sexual, sexual harassment. And, obviously, that we've known this guy to be a fucking creep since the beginning. Yep. Like, he's actually pretty close to a couple of... Uh, Cole... And, um, you know, that he know from the creative team. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. No, no, yeah. Go and ahead, he was no. close with Candice LeRae because they used to be tag teams. No secret. They used to be the world's cutest tag team. That's right. They're super close. And like I said, obviously, I'm sure she has her, his back. Nice fucking guy. He always actually really was real nice to us when we, when we wrestled there. <laughs> but yeah. this dude we know was a creep. Yeah, he was. That's his gimmick, too, was is basically he was a creep. I, I, I sent that information to, cause, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a Jim Cornette follower, and I sent that to fucking Jim Cornette. And here, this and, is... And a Biden voter. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah that's right, damn right. All right, I'm going to do something, and I want you to describe it. This is how I knew Joy Ryan still, was a creep, okay? He still thinks if you vote Trump or Biden, all right, all right. So one person this is what I saw Joy Ryan do to, to one of the Jacksons. One of the huh? Lady Jacksons. Describe what I do. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Why you this is creepy, dude. Creepy ass. Why, 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 why are you going near a female? He just gets jealous. In and out. He's did, standing up. And, 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 and did he ask you? He's pointing his finger. He's standing up, and he's pretending like you guys can hear. He did it in and out to one of the 
Jackson lady okay. that I knew he was a creep. Okay, don't demonstrate on me. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? He didn't ask you to demonstrate on you. Yeah, I didn't say that. See? What did I do? What did I do? I you were, you were a creep. <laughs> That's you could have just said that. You could have just what you, said what you, that. You like that guy. Holy shit. You did that just so you can do that and then say that people shouldn't do that. Well, Look, makes for I'm going to whip my dick out in front of a crowd of kids and then you tell me what I do. Anyways, long story short. You whipped your dick out in front of a crowd of kids. <laughs> basically, he had, um, he had to go to a 12-step addiction program. Yeah. Okay? So here's the funny part. He got a job at Disneyland recently. Mm. A fan... Basically shared a photo of him at Disneyland. Oh, no. He was working in the Jungle Cruise. Yes. Oh, no. So guess what? The fucking LA Times picks up the fucking photo. Yes. Does a whole article on how they Disneyland was hiring a creep mm-hmm. to work the Jungle Cruise. For sure. And they fire his ass. Yeah. That's <laughs> so fucked. Never mind that Disneyland is full of creeps. Hey, I, I, that dude was already like... Ten twenty thousand dollars deep as far as money goes. He wasn't dying for money. He just fucking did it because he could do it. Does okay for her sake. Explain to her why Joey Ryan got on the radar of wrestling and being a creep. The dick spot. This this guy basically was. He would come out as like uh, I think it was like, do you like pina coladas? His thing was the mustache ride. He had like a mustache, creepy mustache. He was just known as a creep. Mm-hmm. That's what he was. But he also, he mm. got that because he would fuck a bunch of chicks. Yep. He would just fuck a bunch of chicks. Like if you were in wrestling or whatever, even fans, he'd fuck, I'm sure he would fuck fans. When you're that creepy and you get that fucking, you're pretty much fucking anything that moves. So it's not no surprise that somebody came forward and said, hey, either was under, I don't know if it's an underage issue or if it was straight up harassment. I'm not 100% certain about the story because it's pending. But this guy was known as a creep. It's not surprising. Just like if you guys know comedians, Chris D'Elia. Mm-hmm, yeah. yep. Chris D'Elia is known as a ladies' man. He just constantly fucks anything with the pulse. That's what he was known for backstage. A creep. I always knew him as He's a, just creep. a creep. Is that that long-haired uh, yeah. Yeah, br- brown He's a hair? good-looking fucking comedian, dude. And he's just known as the, the, yeah. a creep. Yeah. That's it. But what I, what I was getting at was the dick spot. That's how he got famous. Yeah, yeah. So who cares? okay, in Japan there are several different types. Of, I forgot about of wrestling that. promotions. Yeah, there's a comedy promotion that. Yeah, made him. Uh, there's a comedy promotion called DDT, where a wrestler grabbed his dick, and the whole idea was Japanese dick small, American dick strong and big. He said that this guy. This Japanese guy. Oh. And so the spot was he grabs his dick, Joey Ryan. He grabs Joey Ryan's dick, <laughs> and he hulks up. Yeah, and then the guy <laughs> flips over. He's beating this guy up with his dick. Basically. So basically, <laughs> the power of his dick yeah. would make you do a somersault. Yeah. So this guy tries to grab him by the dick, and instead of him getting him by the dick and hurting him, the dick takes over his hand and beats him up and oh, throws yeah, him all around. <laughs> And yeah. he did this all over America and other <laughs> countries for about a good two to three years. <laughs> okay. So that's how he got popular. But then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you didn't know that the guy who does the dick spot is also a fucking pervert? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. That surprised me. Yeah. So. Anyways. So, that happened. So yeah. enough, about our, <laughs> enough about our dicks. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to go right into this. Okay. So... This is a news article that just came out. It's called Snip for Shake Deal. Restaurant offering free milkshakes milkshakes with proof of vasectomy. So Jesse's good. If you get a snipped, you get a free milkshake. Ooh. That's what's going on. Guys, what are we waiting for? It's a restaurant in Nashville, a hot dog restaurant in Nashville. Bring down the population. Let me see if I can play this TikTok going on. As it is, there's enough awkward men in this fucking world who don't want to get <laughs> a woman there. pregnant. We don't need I'm more. Okay. Your big daddy. The world's a pretty crazy place right now, but I have a way to make it just a little bit better. It's our Snip for Shake deal. We're giving away one free milkshake with proof of vasectomy. Just bring a note from your doctor saying you got the snip, and we'll give you any milkshake you want. Are you nervous about the procedure? Take it from this guy. Mo kids, mo problems. <laughs> this is our commercial. This is like what we did. 
<laughs> it showed a dude on a bench. This isn't, this isn't a he joke? Was, he, it's not a joke. Oh, he was wow. actually taking the shake and putting it next to his nuts because it was sore. Oh, my God. Okay, all joking aside, that sounds like some jokes we do. That reminds me of that uh, that uh, skit from Married with Children where Al accidentally gets a uh, vasectomy, and then all of a sudden he's crazy horny and just bangs the fuck out of Peg. <coughs> And the, the end is just, the yeah, and he's like, you, you know, you hear, Bing. what was that? A stitch. Wow. Hey, give me a hand. All right. Anyway, that's enough about wrestling. Well, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back more uh, Bucks effect when I come back. This portion of the show is being brought to you by Ed's Almost Good Beer. Remember, Ed's Almost Good Beer was brewed in God's country when God wasn't looking. This portion of the show is being brought to you by Honest Ed's Used Cars, where every car we sell is backed by an ironclad guarantee that is so complete and comprehensive that we really don't see any need to put it in writing. And remember Honest Ed's motto, if any used car dealer anywhere in the country says he can sell you the same car cheaper than we will, then he's even a bigger liar than I am. And remember, if you'd like to learn one of life's most valuable secrets, just send $20 to the announcer in care of this station. And by return mail, you'll receive your very own copy of the exciting one-and-a-half-page book entitled Why You Should Never Send Some Guy 20 Bucks Just Because He Asks You To Over the Radio. <laughs> all right. Wow. Man, out of all the commercials I do, that's probably the top five. That's another one. Definitely. It's another one for the books. But we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, like I said, there was a bunch of uh, news that had to do with some wrestling drama. Some of you guys follow that shit. Some of you don't. Some of you might be, you know, living in a small village in a hut and just listening to the show. In a van down by electricity. River. Enough some, bad width to f- download my show, and thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. For that. Some Hell new yeah. Thank Benoit you. news came out. Which one? Oh, ben, yeah? Benoit, yeah. Is that a type of fish? Benoit? No, Benoit balls. That's oh, what you put Benoit your, balls, yeah. Yes, you know, put your, the stuff chicks China. put up their pussy, Joe. Oh, hey, okay. man. Whoa, hey. It's, it's a bit out of control. Jeez, so vulgar. Yeah. What'd I say? What'd I say? This is the not P-word. STD, dude. <laughs> yeah, this ain't STD. So, Children's okay, are watching. Fucking families Children. listen to this shit. <laughs> so, uh, Chavo Guerrero made another statement. And okay. it makes things a little more scarier because then they, uh, the, more evidence came out. So um, when Chavo was talking to uh, Benoit on Friday, he said that Benoit left the phone and he could hear somebody come in the door and that there was a bit of like an, an argument. Not like a crazy argument, but there was like some loud words said. And then he called uh Chavo, Benoit called Chavo back again, and that's when he did the whole, hey, Chavo, I love you. You know, the awkward oh, I love wow. you. And then the uh, autopsy report was changed three times as to when Chris Benoit was killed. I don't want to hear no fucking conspiracy theories. This is crazy Oh, from this shit. motherfucker. I'm sick of hearing him. But here's the other thing. The last little weird clue. They found eight cans of beer and an empty bottle of wine. Stone Cold next, did it. Next to <laughs> ben- Benoit's body, but yet there was no alcohol in his system. Right. So wait a minute. You drink a bunch of bo- uh, beer and wine, and then you kill yourself? No. And yet there's no... Who said there was a bunch of bottles next to his body? The police... They changed the report three times in the last seven years. But why do they change yeah, the report? That's weird. That, again, why? Surely they why? have photos, and the photos that we did see from the crime scene had no beer bottles. Nothing. Nothing. Then why did they say that? They, they could have changed them. They, they could have moved the, the beer bottles. We didn't see pictures of the bodies. We saw pictures we of We've seen dummies. dummies. Yeah. But they had no bodies. They had no no beer bottles. Nothing they around it. They could have already moved that shit by then. They wouldn't have moved it because there would be no purpose to take pictures. Well, I'll say this: they took pictures Vin- for evidence. Vince McMahon is a wealthy man, and if he wanted to, he could have changed and arranged anything to suit his they, needs. There's they, no way. Oh well, man, now you kill. Now you kill hey, me. He brought up the conspiracy theory. Yeah, I'm feeding yeah, the dog. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? No, no. Don't no. shit on me, guys. My physical address is da 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 da. No. Look, Give I'm just break. triple stamping a double stamp. All right, I don't want to talk like, about I that. I like how we're talking about this, and, and Moon's over here like, I don't yeah, know Yeah, come on, let's talk on. something like Moon could relate to. So, Moon, what you been up to? 
I'm like, it's okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just listening. I, I get, there's certain things that I understand what you guys are saying. I used to watch wrestling with my dad when I was younger, like, like back in the day, <laughs> as, as back in the days you yeah. could go. Yeah, well, it wasn't a, really a wrestling show. But I mean, exactly. I mean, the stuff you were talking about earlier, I could understand some of it. She's like all. This. I knew about John Cena. It's. I bring it up because, it's basically relates to, you know, it can relate to anything. But people, all, everyone knows who Vince McMahon is. Yeah. People know who I'm talking about. But yeah, the, these creeps. It's just a known thing. If you're in a male dominated, anything, anything, you're gonna get. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? So, but like I said, that's, it's kind of the way it is. Just like you said, you've worked at places where they've come on to you. Mm-hmm. You've been at school where the creepy teachers have flirted with you. Yep. So that's the thing. You know, it's like, He's like I'm sure you know five. people. He's all getting real close. That are real <laughs> creepy that, you know, that have been fucked with too. Yeah. So, so Moon, um, just to be super clear. Wait a minute. Like, maybe when you were in high school. DK's dad there, was a math teacher. There was, like, a teacher or two that was kind of like, hey. More than two. Oh, my God. <laughs> what kind of shit would they say? I was very developed in Oh, high I school. know. I, I mentioned it before. I've had a breast reduction. Like, I was Wait, developed in high know? school. I've told him. Oh. So creepy. No, I said I know. Wait a minute. He said it, he said, he said it like he knew she's you in told, high school. She's told me, creep. young lady. You have, no, it's you too have, late now. It's too late for that. Was like, I, didn't, I, didn't know. I didn't get on your ass. They did. <laughs> I know they did. They're assholes. No, I'm just saying you flashed me at least once. I had like Almost teachers so. come up behind yeah. me and like one like snapped my bra strap. What the oh. fuck? That, or like w- would be like. Uh, male or female? Male. They were always male. I never had any creepy female teachers. Uh-huh. I had like mean female teachers, but never creepy. I always had creepy. The mean ones mean. still want at you though. The mean yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm going to throw that in there. Mr. Jennings, if you're listening to this, I hope you're dead by now. <laughs> that name oh, sounds Mr. totally Mr. Jennings. He's totally listening to our show. That name sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it's either he was a redneck or a. Uh, oh, definitely. Um, you know, I yeah. think we all had a fucking teacher we really hated and we all, you know. Yeah. One point one and. Yeah, yeah, one pull on your bra strap, too. And we've all- <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was, if you can think back, what would you say was the worst incident? Um, uh, damn. I'm what kind of shit did they say to you? Like, uh, they would say they would say things pertaining to my breasts. You know, yeah, I can't like, remember very specific. Like, oh, big, big boobs coming through. They would, or they would just be like. Uh, you got a B for boobs. I would have like a low cut shirt and they would make a comment. <laughs> Giving like, you a B plus. Your yeah. shirt looks good today. Like something. Oh, something like. Something that subtle. they could get away with. That's yeah, right. you know? uh, creeps. Not crossing the line. Right, right. Barely tiptoeing to it. You That's know? still crossing the right. line though. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. But like they wouldn't get in trouble because I'd report it. I would report it. They would say like. Uh, like they would pick on me specifically, and like I said, they would. I can't remember any specific comments, but I remember reporting it to uh, the office and stuff, and they never did anything about it. The, and he, they would be harassing other women in the class too, our girls in the class, and I would stand up for them. I would tell the office wow. that too. Nothing. They would never do anything about it. They didn't believe us. Did you ever think a teacher was hot? You're like, okay, I'm gonna allow this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I oh, guess wow, I'm gonna let one. it happen this time. This this, this, this is complete the opposite. However, at the same time, it's similar. You were saying that like how you know you would report them and they did nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So when I had to be uh, <laughs> when I was a teacher, <laughs> <laughs> when I had to go to San Andreas, I had a, a an a English teacher who did not teach us English. She taught us therapy. Mm-hmm. I went to my principal and said, listen, I am not learning English in my English class. And their th- answer was, well, what do you want us to do? Your English, so, not I am learning. You are such a fucking snitch. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. teacher, dude, was she like, was hung over every fucking Monday. Mm-hmm. She'd come home for a fucking weekend of party, and I wouldn't do shit in there, and she and still then, gave us good grades. And, and, then she'd and I would allow somebody. her to thank you so much. <laughs> Miss Rios, I, have you, I hope you have a fucking great day. <laughs> well, no, fuck she did that. go to fucking no. prison because she killed somebody because exactly. she, was, she was so drunk. She, she drove someone. home. Are you serious? I swear yeah. to God. Real she oh drove God. home. She was drunk. She drove home and k- end up getting into an accident, rolled the SUV, killed her buddy. Yep. And then she said, oh, no. She came to work that Monday Yep. because she, she did it on a Friday night. And oh. She said, guys, I'm a little banged up. And this is exactly what happened. Spilt the beans. She says, but it's fine. My, my friends, you know, my friend's parents are on my side. 
A couple weeks later, the report comes out that she was drunk. She was driving drunk. Alcohol was in her system. They quickly turned on her and pressed charges against her. Uh-huh. Yep. She had him going to prison. Yet vagina dryer would not fight me because he was afraid of getting bruises. <laughs> That's true. She's willing to go to prison and... Well, no, yeah. but you're a little snitch ass. Like I'm not learning nothing. <laughs> no, it's fuck you. I actually want to learn learning nothing. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. Somebody fuck threw face. a beer in my car. <laughs> somebody, somebody here, it's not teach me English. <laughs> Are you gonna help me out? I'm a real no. boy. <laughs> John, oh boy. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I don't Did give a fuck. quit touching me there. <laughs> call, call me a fucking snitch. I don't give a fuck. That was true. I wanted to learn English be, because, assholes, I was dyslexic. Well, I'm still dyslexic. Oh, my God. So less dick sick. It's so, pronounced less dick sick. You are less dick sick. Moon had a reason. That is no fucking reason, okay? Who gives a shit if they're teaching you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. shut up. You're lucky a teacher didn't come and caress your fine, fine beard. <laughs> You're, yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky you didn't get a, a vagina dry to fuck you in the ass. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nobody the, was looking. With, graphic with, quick. With a raise of hands, who thinks the vagina dryer would actually, like, take a, a hummer from a student? Dude. Oh. There, no fucking doubt. This dude's already had three complaints against him. If any one of us filed a complaint against the vagina dryer, that's why, he'd be done. That's why he was going to. He better that's fucking That's why he threatened that a defamation lawsuit. He's lucky we're good Because the guys. bottom line is he, he, didn't want the, he didn't want another fucking Dude, yeah, complaint. We would bury him in a second. He'd be done. So His whole career. We were awarded by California she needs, for diversity. She needs this guy, who we're he's a scumbag I pedophile. Was, I can't. was just about to say, who the Don't the say his last name. No, we're not going to say his last name. His last name is vagina dryer. I was going to say, who? Who's the vagina his dryer? Because I know a few. <laughs> his I know this guy. Vagina his dryer. last name is Jewish. There's this guy we used to wrestle with, okay? Dryer. Yeah. And we call him Jeff the Vagina Dryer. Okay. And we call him the Vagina Dryer because, number one, he was already an embarrassing to be around, uh, just around friends. But if there was women in, in the uh, the room, it was super embarrassing. And you could feel a woman's vagina just drying Dry up. up. Like he would try too hard, be cringy? Yes. Or what? Yes, oh. very yes. cringy. If you're a woman... You, you would, your, your vagina would dry, be the driest it's ever been. My skin would get drier. <laughs> Everyone, the yeah, average would skin would be dry. <laughs> the vagina dryer is the, it would make vaginas dry. That's why we call him a vagina dryer. Okay. So super, we used to wrestle with him. Super pervy, dude. He's super fucking pervy. Yeah, no, he, he was just one of those guys that like. More pervy than Joe. It was embarrassing. Oh, wow. It was, em- it, was em- it was embarrassing to have him around a woman because he just did not know how to talk to women. Like Joe. So, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like Joe. Hey, uh, I, I, worse. I, I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> but no, he was just way a, worse. He Am was I just bad? In the butt, His code all. name, Uncle Touchy. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna start thinking that shit. By the way, motherfucker, she already fucking knows I'm that going shit. To start thinking. <laughs> start. <laughs> or I know that. Yeah. She's not in her head like you know. This classy guy Joe's gonna pick me up today, <laughs> yeah. and we're gonna talk about stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that was a, a pain in the butt, and uh, we cut him off. It was, I think, it was the hardest for uh, Bucks over here because Bucks was like the last guy to actually like. Long talk story to short, him. he came on this <laughs> podcast. We were we were talking shit. We were basically not so much talking shit. We were basically trying to hype up a fight between DK and him because DK uh, he said he tried to call out DK and he said some shit about um, basically. He started to start a fight. Long story short, he started trying to start a fight. And DK responded with saying, like, hey, you're a pedophile. Actually, it was like he was making little jabs here and there, and DK wasn't having it anymore. Like, for years, DK had been polite. But he, but he supported. He said, hey, you're a pedophile because of this. And he's like, fuck you, dude. And so we said it on the show, it's, so it's, and he threatened a lawsuit, a defamation lawsuit. And we said, all right, you little well, fucking prick. I guess we'll take it down. And the other dude we had in the podcast, uh, you know, SG from... Some Their guy, thing, yeah. he had a picture of him up, so that's why we had to take it down. So, oh. no, he, he, here's the thing. Okay, check this out, Moon. It's one thing to, like, say hello to your neighborhood young girl. Pedophile. Mm-hmm. You know, hi, how you doing, hi? Because when, when I was living in the apartments, all the uh, young ladies, uh, young ladies, all the little girls. I don't me. like where this is going. Knew me as Mr. Security. Uh, and I would just be like, hi, girls, uh, how you doing? Oh, no. How you doing? Yeah, and the then I, I'd go right, I'd go right home. Because I know what this looks like. Uh-huh. But when you are a guy who's 19 years old and you're hitting on a 14-year-old, that's, oh, no. that's a little wonky. And then 
when you spend way too much time talking to twin seven-year-olds. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a little wonky, you know? Just a little, not so, too much. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a red flag. So, again, it's one thing to be like, hello, how you doing? And then go into your, your house. It's another thing where it's like, how you doing, young girls? How you doing? What's going on? No. No, you don't fucking do that shit. No. What Vagina Dryer said exact words as they walked away, he said, God damn, they're sexy. What the f- about the seven-year-olds? Seven-year-olds. Two twin seven-year-olds. Yeah. <coughs> oh, hell. He did say some shit like that. I'll He's fight exa- this guy right now. The whole <laughs> car got frozen. Yeah. And, and then- He um, tried to pass off like some jokes. Like, dude, none of us forgot that shit. Oh, my God. I, I, pun- I, I broke his nose uh, during re- the one and only re- real wrestling match he had. Oh, I'm sorry. First to second. Because he wrestled Chuck. Because he fucked up. But then we had him on the fucking podcast, and he's like, Joe, do you just want to fight? And I said, don't give me another reason to bust your nose open. And he said, I'd like to see you try. Oh, I'd f- oh don't. don't. And, and then he punks out. Yeah, then he punks the mo- the, the, da- the time you give him a date and time, he's yeah. like, uh, never mind. Cause Anyways, I, we, I, and then let's, we're let's going move on. more let's too on. much into it. Yeah, let's move but on. But that's who he is. Piece of shit. So he's known as a vagina dryer on the show. So anyways, I was jerking off the other day. No. <laughs> and again, you're a creep. So that you just, you know, you're basically <laughs> confirming the fact that you're I don't you're care. Creep. I'm a polite creep. I have but, uh, rules. You guys lost me. Is that a thing? Anyways, yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, you yeah, know, there's a lot of creeps coming forward. I mean, because uh, these women, you know, ain't taking this shit anymore. Mm-hmm. But what I don't agree on is that shit that, like happened maybe years and years back. Now, rape's one thing. Rape's one fucking thing. But if some guy like, you know, Smacked your ass back and, you know, you're fucking, you know, it, it took you 18 years to come out and this guy's finally doing something with his life and then you want to confront him. Like, I don't agree on that shit. Like, why, why didn't you get, you should have confronted him the first fucking couple of weeks and went to court, went to the police or whatever the case be and filed your complaints then. Don't make this guy already making a something of his life years later, like these comedians. Y- years, like ago, years and years ago, there wasn't sexual harassment. Laws yeah. put in place for that. And I was going to say... You work, work, worker harassment laws weren't put in place until the 90s. Also, from a, from a female perspective, you know, it's like, uh, well, I haven't been around that long, but I know women in my family who say that, you know, back in the day, men could verbally harass you all the time or physically harass you, and nobody would say anything because nobody cared, nobody believed you. And I, I, I mean, you shouldn't ruin somebody's life over like a small offense. I do agree with that, but I'm just saying like, they're coming out like, oh yeah, this guy was a fucking pervert. I'm all for it because we never used to before. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, okay. but, oh, what's up? I got a question. Okay, so we were talking about how like, men who may have take, uh, used their position of power to take advances on you and women as well. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been a, a man or woman in a position of power that you were okay with them doing that? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then that end of my end of my question. The end. Could you shut up. Stop changing the subject. We're on the same fucking subject. No, what I'm saying is Just trying to make it like some. 50 so what you got? So I, I understand what you're saying, but <laughs> the thing is, at what point is it time to report it? Because the laws have been the laws for at least ten years, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, longer than that. Like, longer than that. So at what point do you say, hey, listen, I need to spill the beans? Because it seems like it's like some of these guys are like reaching a pinnacle in their career, like they're doing a special, they're getting a promotion, they're elected, whatever. And now, like, let's, let's get this shit out of nowhere. Like, I, almost like somebody else was digging in for that information to sabotage them. Absolutely. I don't doubt that there are, I mean, I know for a fact that there are fame chasers. Like, oh, this guy's at the top now, or this girl's at the top now. Now I'm going to come out with this information. I, I don't doubt that. I, I've seen people like that. I've seen it happen. But, you know, I am also trying to just say that, like, we haven't always been believed. So a lot of people don't come out until other people come out because they don't feel safe. Or no. they don't feel like they're going to be listened to, or they just feel like they deserve it because they're a chick in a male-dominated industry or whatever, you know? It's like, right. it's all of these things, and now people are coming out about everything, every little thing. We're not letting these motherfuckers get away with it anymore. And I'm totally for that, but that's the thing. is like, at what point, at what point is the right time? Like, yeah. I think shit should have happened, and I understand petty shit really shouldn't really be brought up, 
But like there is shit that like the Bill that Cosby shit has should have been brought up a long time ago. I don't think it should be at a point of like someone's career to bury them. All right, it seems like shit's come out to bury certain you know people. What? Like they like almost like they were incentivized to do that. I have I have a question that begs your 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 uh, question. We all have heard the Jesseline Maxwell case, right? Yeah. Right. She was recently sentenced to twenty years in maximum prison for trafficking. Thirty children. years, yes. Wait, is that that guy who with uh, what's his name? Yeah, he's Ep- a guy. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein, yes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No, Maxwell's the lady who acquired the women for him. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. She Her was underling was actually Courtney Love, but we won't get into that right now. Oh, that bitch. But if you actually look at the people who she was, so she was convicted, right, of trafficking kids. Yeah. Said kids. Three years. Said kids came forward years later, eighteen right. years later. That's how she got put away by these kids. Right. Not one of the actual people that were her clients that she trafficked for have been named in public or sentenced to prison. She's the only person in prison. Okay, so she went to prison for trafficking kids. Who did she traffic them for? This goes into what he exactly. said. Exactly. This goes into the whole power struggle. You can ask what you want. We can beg what we want. We can figure out what we want. Vince McMahon, blah, blah, blah. Whoever these powerful people are, they're powerful, they got money, they got clout. They're going to sway this in their, their it? favor. So it doesn't. we can sit here and bitch and make what we want, but these people are going to turn it into their making them look good. Someone else, years later they came forward. But they still did this shit years back in the day. You think they became a better person in the future or worse? Never. That's the real question. Fine. Did they, did they, with their power, did they become a better person? Hmm. With their money, did they become a better person? Or did they become more of a piece of shit? Yeah. I don't personally think, I don't care if they became a better person in the future you have to pay for the crime. You do. That's yeah. exactly that's justice right there. If there was justice. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, whoa, hey. God. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Coco's not having it. <laughs> no. I don't stay here. Just, just leave her, I guess. Just leave it. She said her out here. She okay. Yeah. She's mad about the situation too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She's pretty pissed. <laughs> she can't stand not barking. No, you're right. There there's tons of being. But the problem is there's so many recordings and all that other shit and all those videotapes because he recorded every single higher up that ever got a hand job from a fucking underage girl at that house. And imaginely, all those tapes are missing. Exactly. The reason their tapes are missing is because every higher up has made sure that they make sure they put away that shit. Exactly. So they gave her a plea deal to say, listen, the best we could do is 30 fucking years. Realistically, this bitch should have got fucking life. Yeah. 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 She She'll do 10 years no. out of the 30. Hanger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they gave her a Hanger. fucking deal. The, exa- I, I, have, I have argued for that. I've been arguing for that. I'm like, we need to bring back public executions. She deserves executions. the death penalty. Yeah. You got to think, yeah. fucking uh, and Jared I, and uh, nothing, Fogel, yeah, subway guy, too. got longer fucking terms, and he only fucked one under... Uh, he might have fucked a couple underage chicks, but the bottom line is, Maxwell was responsible for tons of fucking underage... Jared and, Fogel did have a shitload of child porn, though. Yeah, yeah. He did. You, you, heard, you heard about R. Kelly, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah R. Kelly got okay. 30 years too. 30 exactly. years. Exactly. 30 years. Exactly. And who does R. Kelly know? You know what? This is this is go this goes into you other shit. Deals. This is all power play, dude. Cosby was a piece of shit, right? But no one said anything about Cosby until he tried acquiring NBC. Until he was gonna oh, purchase it. I didn't know that. So this all goes into politics. All the other people are like, I ain't gonna have that dirty jigaboo buying NBC. Then they go and get him fucking locked up. You got to believe this is some bloodline shit. They're racist. They got their bloodline in order. I'll, I'll leave it there, also, but this shit goes deep, dude. Don't don't believe that these people have been famous for 40, 50 years and all of a sudden somebody outed them. Someone's been trying to out them for this time. The whole time someone's been trying to you, out them. You also got to think it's funny. So, it's like you got blackmail. Got, you guys got people like Bill Cosby, the dad from 7th Heaven, and yep. they're all fuck, fucked up. Yet Ed O'Neill, Uncle Touchy, Al Bundy. Oh yeah. One of the dirtiest characters of the 90s is like, nah, I ain't fucking Squeaky kids. clean, yeah. Yeah, squeaky clean. You, I, I, I that, that's how you portray being an asshole, is that you have to be a good guy to play an asshole. <laughs> the assholes, <clears throat> the assholes are all playing the good guys. Yeah. Bill Cosby, Seventh Heaven, Harvey Weinstein, Bill so, Clinton, all these sick fucks. Okay, Moon, how about this? Um, is there somebody from your childhood who's now been tainted as far as what we've been talking about that you can think of? Mm, name some. Try to name some for me, because off the top I, of my head, I can't. Because you're you're about t- thirteen years younger than me. <laughs> you, you ever watched the movie Flight of the Navigator? No. Oh yeah. It's a cool Disney movie. Now, yes. 
I wish I could. I wish you would have already seen it so you could say, "Oh yeah, that was cool." But if I told you the kid in the movie turned out to be a molester yeah. in the future, you couldn't watch it and have a good time anymore. Which, if they're telling the truth, one of the witches is the cousin. Of yeah, the and I do believe her. I do believe her. Yeah. There's yeah. no way she said that with like, oh yeah, I want to make. She's not. She's not making money on it. She hasn't gone to TMZ. She just yeah, told us yeah. in passing, this dude's a fucking creep. And then there was this other movie called The Wizard, which is about a, uh, a kid who was, like, autistic, and he could play video games, like, really well in the 90s. And there was, like, the bad guy. And it turns out the bad guy is also a child molester. The closest I can think of, like, actors or musicians or something that I grew up with that ended up being pieces of shit, and now I can't see them the same, is, like, Shia LaBeouf. Yep. He, what do you do? What piece do you do? of shit. He, he's do? abusive. He's very abusive. He's abusive to all of his all, partners. All said. the women, I've, all the women who have been in, in the in, no, in the movies that, with him, have filed complaints against yeah. him. He's very See, abusive, very forceful, very uh-huh. aggressive. So, um, sassy. You and I like. We love that song, Elastic Heart. I'm yeah. not talking necessarily about the music video, because the music video that's I, the controversy. I do love the music video, though. Yes, that's you, part of what made me love the song. Yes, it's a. Uh, I like. The I music can separate video the art and the artist. I can. Exactly. Um, it's I'd very always, hard, but I've always I can heard do it. that he was a, 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 an asshole when it comes to acting. But I'm talking about somebody that like uses their power to fuck someone over. Or Chris to, Brown. Who's Bruce Brown? Chris, no, Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, Chris Brown. Yeah. Who's Bruce sure. Brown? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Bruce Springsteen's like Bruce brother? <laughs> Have you guys heard like how horrible he is to people? Like, he thinks he's a I fucking just, alien. I've always thought he's a piece of shit. He knocked out, what was it? He knocked out Frank Ocean for no fucking reason. <laughs> he did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's he, fucked up. He had, like everybody who's ever dated him or slept with him has something to say where he's punched him in the face. He's punched his assistants in the face. He just thinks he could put hands on anybody and he gets away with it and Nobody like CM Bunk called him. him out. I've he said, seen fuck that guy. I'll fuck that dude up. Yeah, I've he did bitch re- out of that. I've seen those Rihanna pictures, so yeah, I understand. Well, yeah. Chris Brown bitched out and of he's that. Only fight. Gotten since then. He has gotten worse since then. And he's not even that popular. No, he's actually he declining. He still is. He still is popular, unfortunately, but not, not not as popular as he was back then. But he still is, unfortunately. There's yeah, a lot he is. Of people who download he's shit. popular enough to where he can live the rest of his life comfortably. Yeah, and, and nobody calls it out, and they just keep letting him get away with it. I don't understand. It's well, some yeah. it's some nonsense uh, that. So I I've made this public. You know you know this. I don't think she knows this. My dad was or still is. A well, junk, at least he's a reformed man. from being a Nazi. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That, 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 <laughs> like, uh, no, my dad was or still is a. Junk still touches man. me. Yeah. And <laughs> back when I was a kid, he put hands on my mom, and yeah. I I actually had to stop it, and <sighs> like. That that gave me the lesson of you do not put hands on women. To the norm back in the days is that your dads beat beat fucking their wives. It happened to all my dad. All my dads beat up my mom, except for my stepdad. My, was, <laughs> but I remember the fucking beatings, and I would have to fucking, you know, I, just, I wasn't old enough to whoop his ass, but like it did happen, and it was kind of like the common thing is like it seemed like my uncle beat the shit out of his wife. And it's like, dude, it's just that shit happened. Like, it was a lot more common back in the days. That makes me think of that uh, Jim Jeffries joke. You're too it's, young, probably, to really. It wouldn't didn't happen so much in your generation. I'm 26. Well, I'm like 38. That's so great. that's why I can't wait for those fucking generations to die off. It yeah. happened like like we were the last generation to get our ass kicked. Yeah. yeah. We were. I don't know if your generation like, got our well. ass. <laughs> did your generation get this? I don't I know. Mean, so I much. don't know about my did generation. Did you guys get your ass kicked? No. But I got. How old my are you? Ass 27. 27. So, okay, so you might have been the last to get your ass kicked. No, I was just thinking of that Jim Jeffries. I know we got our ass kicked. It was like yes, common. Yes, Oh, God, yes. Uh, Jim Jeffries is all, this woman once said that all four of her husbands beat her. Really? All four. One, two, three, four. Someone's a fucking button pusher. <laughs> but, no, nah, like, you just, you don't put hands on women unless they really deserve it. I've only met. One woman in my entire life, no, I'm sorry, two women, that I would actually, like, put a, a bruise on. Well, I remember, like I said, I got spanked as a kid. Oh, yeah. When I went about 13, my mom tried to spank me, and I'm like, no more. Ain't gonna happen again. <laughs> yeah. All right? I'm too old for this shit. You know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't beat up my mom, but uh, listen, I, my dad, I've seen my dad at that age or whatever, when I start kicking ass at, you know, beat up my mom, I whoop some ass. I was so young. I was like seven, eight, you know, and it was kind of like he was on drugs. 
or he was in, you know, inebriated fucking, and I guess it probably still does happen today, but it seemed like really it was a lot more common back in the days. I, I'm saying it yeah. probably still does happen today. Not it, as much, but yeah. But, but not as much. It, it is one of those. It's so easy to rat out somebody. It is one of those things where it's kind of like it was common back in the day up until about the 80s. And then once the 90s happened, it was kind of like, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. It, but exactly. But, That's how I feel. But even in the 90s, it did not just stop at a, at a slow. It's never really go. stopped completely. Yeah, yeah. But it has declined. I feel yeah. it has. Yeah. Yeah, because the thing is, like I said, there's more resources. For and it's more awareness, because back in the days, like nobody listened to anybody. No, like you get harassed, you buy a teacher, and uh, your parents wouldn't believe you. Like, just go back to school. They'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Exactly, go back to school. What you talking about? I'm it's sure it probably happened. You know what happened to you, Moon? You're like, yeah. They're like, yeah. Oh, it happened that way. Oh, okay, well, there's nothing we could do. Let's yep. uh, let, let's say hypothetically, somebody puts hands on you tonight. Be it a friend, a hey, chill the fuck out relationship. GK. Yeah, I know what you... <laughs> yeah. What's so, you, what do someone you do? gives you a car ride back. What do back. I do? Yes, what do you do? Beat their ass. Okay. Do you have weapons? Uh, not with me. Use your keys. Oh, your, your keys. Girl, you want a car ride? <laughs> yeah. So, use your keys. Hey, listen, you can always use the weapons. So we're you gonna, wanted to go camping, okay? Yeah, we're going to go camping. Right? And, you got, and you got raped. Um, so, uh, would you say anything the next day? Uh, this man nope. is taking me you home. Go camping? I'm scared. Exactly. This creepy fuck. Did Can you hear what this creepy fuck said? What Can I you do? Come with us? What I this, do? This creepy fuck said, he so said, say there was someone were to hurt you right now or someone were to touch you. Do you have any weapons? Do you have any weapons? <laughs> this fuck. This fuck is, does he know what he's saying? Do you have a on you? Yeah. Or, or, do you have any mace? Oh. Any weapons in those overalls? How hard can you hit? Put the yeah. lotion in the basket. The mace on a one through ten. How hard can you <laughs> throw a punch? <laughs> you fucking. She took martial arts as a kid. Hey, she knows Mo, that do you I'm want an Uber gonna... back? Because uh, <laughs> this fuckhead. This episode is brought to you by Beanbag Gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw all of you. I am going to get a beanbag gun. I'm going to shoot this fucker over here and watch him go down. He'll do fucking nothing. No, oh, you liar. He'll do no with fucking your, nothing. With your fucking Taz Goldberg tattoo. Shoot me with a beanbag gun. I'll shoot you in a fucking real gun. And we'll see. Like I said, I'll let you I'll let you shoot me with a beanbag gun. I'll line up. You're going to have to take the real shot yeah. right Shots after. Shots be fine. You're not. So just know wherever you're going to shoot me, I'm going to shoot you the same place. I've shown Sassy beanbag gun footage, no. and he has seen it, and it's like, it's okay. Well, from a short no. No. range, yeah, it could be that's just as lethal. And that's not the same it depends on where you shoot same at. Same shit. Ahead. Different no. smell. No. Cops do not that's, okay. That All right. All right. Enough. Enough. All right. Enough of that bullshit. Uh, we're going to wrap this episode up. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you listen to my program and my program only, since these other fuckers don't really mention the Bucks <laughs> effect. Just listen to the Bucks effect, because you know it's the. It's since actually, we are the number one on the network, and we'll continue to be number one on the network. Don't visit any other shows. It's called except the ego my show. effect. It's called the ego. Effect. So is the Bucks effect, ladies and gentlemen, number one show on the network. Fuck all the other shows. Thanks for listening. The tiny, bye bye, tiny dick effect.